Jeff, Arizona Hot Homestead. And you're looking at the completed VersaTube RV carport. My modified version of it. Because if you notice, we have 4x4 posts along here. And the base up there. Be sure to watch the VersaTube going up video. And then also the VersaTube, I forget the name of it, the opening or the preview sneak peek preview of the VersaTube when I showed it in parts how it was delivered and so this is the completion the roof is done and it turned out exactly the way I wanted it if you notice there's a little bit of space right up in here and well, that's just the way it lined up so what I'm going to do is there's going to be um, ceiling raft or ceiling joists are going to come off of here and come out this way for my enclosed patio. The roof then will have the same material as this going the exact same way so it's going to actually bend and tuck underneath it. So we'll take out those couple screws there and we'll put it underneath to waterproof it basically. And then it will come down and it will extend all the way out to really the edge of the barn here. And then we'll go all the way down there. And this front area is going to all be my enclosed patio. But it turned out exactly the way we wanted it. But look at this. Isn't this kind of weird? Look at that white stuff. Well... In doing this, I also got thinking, the winds are pretty heavy up here at times. What if I put some silicone or something on it? And by doing so, maybe we can uh, keep the screws from coming loose. Um, we started it and we didn't. We got all caught up in the, let's just get the roof on. So I guess if I'm concerned, I'll go back up and I'll... I'll put more on there, but right now we'll let it be. But it turned out absolutely perfect. Now this backside, if you notice, this kind of cuts in a little. Well, it's designed that way. And this line here, I'll show you in just a second, is right on top of my windows. So I can still see out, but I've brought it down as far as I could basically without blocking my view. Now in a later video you'll see I'll have a way to tie this to here to waterproof this section here. So I'll show that in when that time comes. There's that bolt that I was telling you earlier about that goes through the hole on the uh, on the top base here, or actually the base of the VersaTube has holes to anchor it down. So we anchored it using those bolts there. Now if you've been watching my videos, you know that we cut every one of these legs here. Go back around here and see how this looks. Whoa, stumble on the rock. Doesn't that look cool? So, my roof is now protected. So that extends the lifespan of this trailer by 100 years. Give or take 20. But right on the edge there, just like I planned. And then I also planned it to be beyond the slide out enough so you can walk in front of this tree here. So believe it or not, there's a couple feet of space so that you can walk right through there.
And what I'll do is I have enough panels that I could do this whole side if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. However, this base here, this base along here, I'm going to cement this whole piece all the way down. And with every little hole, where's the hole at? Somewhere. There we go. I've got these anchors here. And they say VersaTube says you don't need any cement or anything. You just put these 30 inch stakes in the ground and that will hold your VersaTube. Well, I'm going to put those in the ground and then I'm also going to cement them. And the reason why I'm going to cement is because then it gives me a barrier all along here all the way down and that barrier is going to not only keep moisture and water from flooding into here but it's also going to keep critters from tunneling underneath because they have also got to go through the cement so they have to dig even deeper and most likely won't and then I was thinking putting a panel right along the base of that and now it kind of acts as a skirt if you will and help protect from maybe some ice and some rabbits and, and other water and stuff from getting in underneath. Kind of helps limit the uh, stuff. See that hose, that sewer hose? Wow. I just happened to take that out of there. And I'm going to... Uh, See how long it was because I got to hook my uh, holding tanks up to my septic here soon. So I just wanted to see what size holes I had. So don't mind the hose. If you also notice this here, this one's lower than this, and that's by design. Because if I line these up perfect, like instruction say, puts it down here. But on my windows, You can imagine bringing this down, bringing this guy here down a little too much. As you're sitting in there looking out, you're going to see the edge of this. Well, I don't want to see the edge of that. I actually want to see out. So when you're in there, you can't, you cannot see the top of this at all, and that's perfect. So it's going to really protect me in the summer when temperatures are 90 degrees. I got great airflow up above here, and I have um, I got great airflow up there, and I'm all protected from the sun. So I've got all my screws in here. I still need to put some down there. And once I do that, really, I'm done, done. So I don't think I'll show you the cement. Because I don't know when I'm going to spend all this stuff in. That might be a, a few months from now. It all looks pretty good. It turned out exactly the way I wanted. There's enough space up there that if I needed to uh, get up there to, uh, to deal with the air conditioning unit, I got space to work on it. I got space to... Um, to remove the satellite so if the satellite doesn't get any reception I can I can remove that I got an antenna radio antenna in there which works just fine still and uh, but if I want better reception I can easily take it off and I don't have to worry about leaks so again this versa tube is a smoking deal and it turned out exactly the way I wanted it I'm calling it complete, even though I still have to put the cement down on the base. But I'm calling it a completed project. What do you guys think? VersaTube, metal RV carport. And the material there exact same material as what's on my barn 
So I got planned it. Same color and everything. Look at that. And then I'm going to use the same material for the roof over my patio. It's going to really tie in nicely. So, Jeff, Arizona Hot Homestead. Hey, did you subscribe? Like, comment. But my VersaTube RV carport is completed. Enjoy your day. Bonus coverage of the VersaTube RV carport. How the heck did you put it together? I used this Ryobi cordless drill. Lithium, 18 volts. With a 5 16 Suck it in. Can you read the 5 16 there? There's a skinny on the drill. It's actually what an impact driver. That's what it's technically called, I guess. It's got a little magnetic piece down in there, which was very helpful because it would hold on to the screw. The, the screw wouldn't fall out. So that made it very nice. Now, this battery as many screws as we put in this thing we went through a lot of batteries I had four batteries and we had to recharge them quite often let's see if I can show you here we go 102 that's what I wanted to show you so we went through quite a few of these batteries um, having to keep recharging them can't tell you how many we did can't tell you how many screws but it was a boatload, and I'd say we recharged each of the four batteries, probably at least one each, and they were full to go with. So that's what, eight batteries total, eight cycle lives. So just to give you an idea, you can put it together with a impact driver, and this is what we used. Bonus coverage on the RV VersaTube metal carports. Cool stuff at the end of this video, huh? Every now and then I'll add some bonus coverage or cool stuff at the end of a video. So you're always going to have to want to watch it. The entire video. You might miss something. AZ Hot Homestead. Subscribe. Like. Comment.